Welcome everybody back to the GPL 2014 Spring Season Week 1 Day 3 And I'll be your shoutcaster today, Jay I am Gigi Sphere at magandang magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga summoners natin na naman At dito na naman tayo ngayon at tutunguyahin natin ang laban sa pagitan ng Team Manila Eagles versus the Flash Wolves That's So ngayon right. gabing ito marami mga expectation na nangyayari So uh, so far ngayon, uh, hindi natin gano'n makikita kung ano yung mga recaps natin about uh, yesterday's matches Pero Game one time mga kaibigan ng match between with, uh, the team Flash Wolves versus the Manila Eagles ngayong gabing ito. Alright, so uh, right now we're gonna go into the pick and ban phase uh, for the Yo Flash Wolves versus the MLE. And uh, on the blue side, we have uh, the Yo Flash Wolves. And on the purple side, we have the M team uh, TT Esports MLE. So ngayon mga kaibigan, wala pa tayong nakikitang bans dito from both teams. So far, I think uh, since... Uh, TT Esports Manila Eagles, this is the first time na nalabanan nila ang team ng Flash Wolves and at the same time, group naman sa kanila uh, they are both uh, teams kagaya kahapon na hindi pa ganun na nagkakalala sa laman nito so, so far ngayon, I had uh, high possibility sa laman nito na itong mga teams ay medyo magkakapan mo pagdating sa mga bans dito so they will ban the champions na yung mga champion na possible sa so mag-streak o mag-stop yung streak nila sa kanilang advantage sa buong game na to Yes, GG Spirit, and by the way uh, this is good. Both teams are coming from a loss. Pero pareho sila may one loss already. So this game is very important for them. Whoever wins this one will basically go ahead of the other team in terms of ranking. So ngayon, hindi ba natin alam kung ano yung uh, uh, mga strategies namin for both teams dito sa laban nila. Yet, I think the Manila Eagles have to uh, make sure ngayon na yung titan nila ay medyo kailangan nilang encounter against sa team ng uh, Flash Wolves. Yet, sa mga pagkakataon ito, uh, Flash Wolves had the idea na kung sila yung mga champions sa Panini Alright, and there you go. As we can see, the Gragas has been the ban, and Gragas has been one of the most popular picks this season, actually, uh, for the South and Eastern region. His, his win rate also is very high since he's very effective as both a mid laner and a top laner tank as well. Uh, actually, kahapon, halos lahat ng laban na nakita natin sa ating Karina Premier League ay merong Gragas and all. Nila, uh, halos lahat ng laban na nandun siya ay ginawa siyang tank champion dito or AD champion. Mga kaibigan, nagkaroon tayo ng problem. I think technical problem yata from the side of Flash Wolves dito. So nagkaroon tayo ng disconnect at uh, nag-stop ang ating picking phase dito. So far, ayan. Uh, this is the second match or second game ng team ng Flash Wolves sa ating GPL 2014. That's so, right. Uh, also, Flash Wolves had the, uh, the penalty sa kanilang ban since nagkaroon sila ng problem last time sa laban nila and uh, kapag nag-disconnect ang kahit na sinong players sa laban ninyo hanggat hindi pa nawawasak yung Nexus, hanggat hindi pa lumalabas yung uh, victory, that's right. Uh, magkakaroon sila ng isang penalty na ban dito. So uh, ngayon, Flash Wolves had the uh, disadvantage pagdating sa banning ng champions dito. So isang champion, ang, uh, isang ban sa kanila ang mawawala for the game against the team ng Manila Eagles. Yes, we have that rule because we're trying to promote esports and you have to, have, of course, show sportsmanship mm -hmm. to the other team and show respect na until the game has not completely ended, we should not disconnect from the game. Flash Wolves versus the team TT Esports Manila Eagles. So ngayon, ah uh, yep, kanina nakita natin ang ban ng team ng uh, Flash Wolves dito, si Gragas at si Leblanc. They are more on the champion na shutdown sa mid lane ni Chok. And one thing, a uh, possibility dito na maiwasan nila yung Gragas top na tang si champion dito. Yeah, alright. So now we're going again back into the banning phase. Like uh, you mentioned a while ago, there's a one ban penalty for the Yo Flash Wolves so just burning down the timer. So uh, M and, uh, M and team TT Esports M and E can do the first ban. I believe it will be most likely the same bans again, so it will be pretty quick now. We'll have the uh, Cassidy and the LeBlanc, the Gragas. Uh, let's just wait for them to continue the banning, and I'm pretty sure they will uh, complete what they had a while ago. This uh, Yasu, and uh, for the last band of TT Esports, MLE will be Elise. Alright. So, right. the team uh, Manila Eagles banned Cassidy and Yasu and Elise as the three champions of Manila Eagles against the team Flash Wolves. So, they are aware. Na kailangan nilang i-shoutout yung mid lane, not only yung mid lane, but also the jungle na itong city kung saan meron siyang high mobility uh, uh, power pagdating sa kanyang jungle route dito. So possible na kaya niyang mag-dominate yung uh, lanes, 
kapag gumagang siya sa kanyang alaban dito yet uh, having Elise as your uh, jungler he can uh, she can also a, be, a very uh, viable jungle kung saan every time na magagang siya sa kanyang lanes he, she can also burst the champion at, and uh, she can also be a tanky champion dito sa laban nila yeah, so good job though, para sa team naman nila Eagles yes and even though she builds tanky she's still able to put out lots of damage because her, most of her damage is practically magic except yes. for her melee attacks. So right now, uh, your Flash Wolf's first pick would be a Lee Sin. Most likely, it will be probably uh, a jungler. Could he still be played in other roles like top or mid, depending on the type of what, what their strategy would be? And Actually, uh, at this point of time, we're seeing the uh, pinning game in the Team Flash Wolf's Lee Sin as their first pick. You know, there's a high possibility that he's going to be a jungler or top lane. Uh, I think He's one of the most viable champion as well. Pagdating sa jungle around, uh, jungle natin dito ng set. Kumapasin mo yung kanyang effectiveness, yung nabibigay niya shield, yung kanyang uh, uh, slow dito sa kanyang alaban, which can gain an advantage against sa mga lanes dito kapag gumagang siya. Also, yung kanyang uh, SS dito na kung saan nakakapagbigay pa lalo ng uh, malaking tulong sa kanyang teammates dito. Ito yung pinakatakot na threat para dito sa team na mag-i-i. So, having this hit para si Mungo Ash. Alright, so back into the game where uh, TV Esports Emily has first picked uh, Leona for their support and their ADR which will be severe. And then back to the Yo Flash Wolf, they responded with getting another support for themselves which would be a Thresh and probably, most likely I'm thinking this Lulu will be played in the middle lane. Well, let's see what we're going to do so Lulu is a champion na kaya, uh, pwede kaming beat, pwede rin kaming uh, support champion. Also, he is a champion na pwede rin kaming win sa top lane. So, uh, uh, well, having the lineup right They can easily pick a champion once the magkaroon ng gang dito or initiate coming from rutin ng Team Esports Manila Eagles. Yeah, pinag-easy pa mamabuti ng Team Flash Wolves kung sino yung last pick nila to counter yung lineup ngayon ng Team Manila Eagles. Actually, looking at the Yo Flash Wolves uh, current lineup, they have a lot of utility. They have Lee Sin, they have Thresh, they have Lulu. All of them provide a lot of utility. It looks like they may go for like a protect the Caitlyn uh, strategy in which they will push turns fast and protect Caitlyn from all angles with the, with the shield, with the lantern, yes. with the slows provided by almost all the champions have slows on their side right now. And they have a tank, one tank for, uh, for the top lane which will be Shibana. The only problem ngayon ng na team ng uh, Flash Wolves dito ay yung burst damage na kanya lang ibigay sa team ng Manila Eagles since they have uh, Lee Sin and uh, I think Lee Sin is the only champion na kaya mag burst ng champion dito unless they have to uh, fully potential na lagyan ng AP itong si Lulu to uh, at least burst a champion kahit na sino team members ng Manila Eagles pero uh, I doubt na ang gagawin nito ng team Flash Wolves ay mag-focus si Lulu sa kanyang burst damage He, uh, she can also help yung kanyang teammates na lalo lalo na itong si uh, Caitlyn na gamitan ng kanyang mga shields dito since it is an AP skill na Lalo lumalakas kapag tumataas yung AP ni Lulu. Yes, and as you can see, ML TTA Esport EMLE is right now building a very aggressive lineup. As you can see, so far they already locked on Nocturne. They have Leona. These two champions dive into their targets and single out and try to try to blow up whoever they can lock down onto. While Yo Flash Wolves has a very strong disengage, which will make MLE's life a little bit harder. But as long as TTA Esports Manila MLE could get ahead and burst down the targets they want to, I think that TTA Esports MLE has a better chance in winning this game. Right so ngayon hindi kinuha ng team, uh, ng team Manila Eagles si Regger as their uh, top 10 champion pero kinuha nila itong si uh, Warwick para kay Emily yung switch sa champion na kaya kaya makapag uh, immobilize sa champion dito. So uh, very effective uh, lineup para sa team ng TTE Sports Manila Eagles yan. I think since it's, uh, itong si Warwick ay medyo single target lang na champion, uh, Emily have to uh, take note yung mga champion na team members dito ng uh, Flash Wolves. They have to take note na meron silang Lulu na kayang i-cancel yung SS itong si Warwick. Uh, they have to take note as well na meron dito merong Thresh to help help yung kahit na sinong champion na mahuli. Ni Warwick or itong si uh, Kanut na si uh, Nocturne na gagamitin niya. 
mga kaibigan, having Ziggs para, para sa lineup ng Team Manila Eagles dito against sa team ng uh, Flash Wolves. Ziggs, I think, have the advantage pagdating sa laning phase dito kay Lulu. But uh, Lulu have to uh, consider yung kanyang health dito against kay uh, Ziggs, knowing Ziggs is a champion na talagang masakit yung burst damage na kanya ibigay sa kanyang kalaban. And uh, burst-wise or yung poke uh, potential ng both champions dito, they have uh, the poke uh, dito yung uh, sobrang masakit na poke damage pareho sila, Lulu and Ziggs. But uh, let's see kung paano nila is, uh, gagamitin yung kanilang uh, utility champions kapag ating sa mga team fights na mangyayari. Yes, actually, like you mentioned, Lulu has a very strong early laning phase. Ziggs also has a very strong early laning phase. So definitely, the junglers will come into big place here to make uh, their AP carries uh, get ahead. But if you look at it from the late game's perspective, Ziggs definitely offers more on the table. And like I said, your Flash Wolves obviously is going for a protect the Caitlyn type of strategy. They're going to have Shivana dive into the team. Uh, uh, Lee will join join Shivana. Lulu will, and Thresh continue to protect uh, Caitlyn as she kites and, and, and hits all the teams of members of Emily and try to take out champions one by one. But what MLE has to do is to make sure if, if they can't get to, K to Caitlyn right away, they have to take down one, at least one or two of the support champions of, uh, that the uh, Yo Flash Wolves have to protect Caitlyn and then proceed to Caitlyn to take her out as well. Yes, so uh, much, much probably ang kailangan gawin ito ng team uh, Manila Eagles ay talagang mag-focus ng kahit na sino champion dito sa, sa team ng Flash Wolves. So kung papasin mo sa lineup ng team ng Flash Wolves dito, five champion nila, lahat may talagang matitinding role sa kanilang uh, teams dito. So, isang champion lang ang makuha sa kanila, they had the, the disadvantage kagad pagdating sa itong team fights dito. Kung papasin mo, uh, sa lineup ng Team Manila Eagles, si Vir is a champion na kayang-kayang kontrahin, si Caitlyn at si Tresh dito. So, he can, uh, he can just use his, uh, yung kanyang spell shield mm -hmm. once na magkaroon ng trap dito si uh, uh, Caitlyn and then just regen his mana na nawawala sa kanya. And also, having Leona para dito kay Tresh, Tresh, uh, Leona can be countered dito kay Leona sa champion dito sa ating League of Legends. But, uh, kapag na timing nga nitong si Tresh yung kanyang play, na kapag nag-hook si uh, Leona papaloob sa kanya, the, uh, the, the hook coming from uh, Leona ay mga cancel dito. And unfortunately, he can't use his stun para sa champion na papasukin ni Leona dito. Yes, and like I mentioned a while ago, actually, I, I'm actually kind of happy also with the Flash Wolves picks. It's a, it's, it, it, they have a single strategy to push fast and hard and protect Caitlyn at all costs. Because definitely Caitlyn is who are like, hoping to carry this game. Of course, Shivana will also come into play being very tanky. She can definitely take, try to take down either Ziggs or, or uh, Severe because he, she has a movement speed. Although both, uh, Caitlyn, uh, both uh, Severe and uh, Ziggs have also high mobility, uh, Shivana is very hard to kill. And she de definitely our backline of Team, uh, team MM MLE would need some support. Also, another thing I'd like to point out is the top lane. Uh, as we see, uh, Yo Flash Wolves picked Shivana, while Team MLE picked uh, Warwick. Definitely, Warwick is not a bad pick towards Shivana since Shivana is a tanky champion and Warwick has a lot of sustained damage and does well against tankier champions, unlike high burst top lane champions. Unfortunately, MLE Yokes have to take note dito na kanyang kalaban ay champion na hindi ko magamit ng mana kung saan he can also gain an advantage once na magkaroon sila ng palitan dito ng poke damage. But uh, having Shivana sa top lane mo, like what we've said uh, last night, Shivana is a champion sa early game, hindi siya ganun ka-effective. But when it comes to the late game, to the later part of the game, he, uh, he can also, she can also be the most threatened champion dito sa laban nila against the team ng Manila Eagles. Mga kaibigan, having team ng uh, Manila Eagles dito for their lineup, they're more on focus sa burst, uh, I mean sa sa kaya nilang ipitas kagad na isang champion dito. As much as possible, one champion kagad ang makuha nila against sa team ng Flash Rules. And a good idea para sa team ng Flash Rules dito, ang kunin si Lulu as one of their uh, champions since he uh, she can use his uh, her antag dito yung kanyang uh, SS mga kaibigan. So, it is also an advantage for their team once na mag-initiate sa kanila itong si Nocturne, itong si, uh, itong si Warwick papaloob sa kanya. Yes. And also, uh, like, like I, but what they have to, uh, what I think Emily has to do is definitely take an early advantage because they are more, they have a more aggressive lineup and they have to definitely try to find early picks to get to get them ahead. Because if they let Caitlyn farm and push towers fast, they're going to have a harder time to uh, push back in the later game. Although the late game the uh, composition of MLE is very good. But if they make Caitlyn too strong and they can't anymore shut her down, that would be a real problem for the MLE in the late game. 
Yes mga kaibigan, so far ngayon nagkaroon tayo ng post game dito at hinihintay natin kung ano yung mga possible na mangyari. Ito na mga kaibigan, ang head to head match sa pagitan ni, t- ni uh, Refrain at ni Chok sa mid lane. So kagaya kahapon, it's uh, a head to head match din sa ating mid lane at game muna tayo ngayon. Ayan, ulit mga kaibigan, uh, you're watching the Green Premier League Spring Season 2014 sa laban ng team. Flash moves at ng Manila All right, so let's dive into the rift as we start the game. Uh, do you think we're gonna expect any early invades this game? Uh, I doubt ulit na magkakaroon ng mga invade dito since uh, these two teams, mga magkakaroon ito, they have to play passive and uh, mag-secure sila ng kanilang mga lanes hanggang sa umabos sila lahat ng level 6. Champions dito, both teams having the Flash moves at team ng TT Sports Manila Eagles, they have to get level 6 to make sure na yung kanilang mga champion dito ay magkaroon na effectiveness sa buong game. Alright, so right now, as we can see, everybody just basically guarding their entrances to the jungle and they're not letting anybody uh, basically get, try to steal any of their golem buffs at the early game. So ngayon, mga kaibigan, kinangita naman natin ngayon, natatapatan itong si Refrain, itong si Emily Joke sa mid lane. Pero, having the warrior as one of your uh, uh, summoner spread, lalo-lalo na kung ang gamit mo si Ziggs na champion, One reason kung bakit kinukuha itong Barrier para kay Ziggs or para kay Nidalee because they're the champions na nagpupok lamang sa likod from behind and then once na ma-initiate sila ng kanilang alaban, mahihirapan sila makapag- matakbo kagad. Yes, yeah, so right now the game is currently paused. There may, there may be a little bit technical difficulty so let's just wait for them to resume that. While we're waiting, let's talk a, a little bit more about the compositions from both teams. Now, we've seen before uh, some other teams use this type of composition like uh, TPA when they went for to protect the vein and things, things similar to that where they provide a lot of utility and just have one strong frontliner and a strong AD carry mm. which Caitlyn can really fill that role properly she has long range she does lots of damage she's really good at pu- pushing lanes and with that they're gonna probably always group up together especially as soon as the mid game hits I think uh, what TV Esports Manila Eagles have to do sa laban nito ay uh, i-focus nilang mabuti or i-shutdown nila yung lane, lane, bottom lane ng team ng Flash Wolves dito. They have to make sure na itong si Katie na hindi makapag-farm. Much better kung itong si uh, Emily Canut ay ang gagawin niya ay mag-focus ng sobra sa bottom lane. He has to camp the bottom lane to make sure na itong si Katie na i-shutdown and andi, uh, hanggang sa uling laban dito or until the mid game, uh, yung advantage nila na makukuha doon can be expanded sa buong laban. Also, uh, we have to take note na kapag laging ginagak ng uh, isang member dito or ng jungler yung kanilang bottom lane, they can also get the bar, uh, the dragon once na makakuha sila ng magandang objective dito sa laban nila. I definitely agree with you. Not has to be aggressive, especially mm-hmm. once he hits level 6. He has to make a play as soon as possible. But of course, they should not forget to place wards. Mm. If I were not, I would concentrate in clearing my counts as fast as po- possible get as many items as possible so once he hits 6 he can make a solid play for the MLE at the bottom lane and take the lead for the bottom lane for them yes so ngayon mga kaibigan hinihintay pa natin na gawin tayo ng post game ulit and I think uh, merong difficulties itong team ng flash rules ngayon uh, dahil nagdi-disconnect sila sa game yes. natin yet uh, MLE uh, itong si MLE Hughes uh, having uh, Warwick as his champion dito against kay uh, Stick or kay Stick na itong gaga- ang gagamitin niya itong si Shivana uh, I think Uh, Yux has the advantage magdating sa early part of the game dito. Also, he can sustain yung kanyang laning phase hanggang mid game kapag na secure niya yung kanyang early uh, advantage sa laban. So, eto na mga kaibigan, nag-resume na ang game natin sa pagitan ng Team Flash Wolves at ng Team Manila Eagles. So, ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa rin tayo at uh, kanya-kanya yung tansyahan sa laban nila. Alright, so right now, uh, basically, they're just protecting their jungle at the moment. Uh, Stake and Yooks are still uh, basically just trading uh, blows right now at the top lane uh, since the start of the game, but uh, nothing's really happening right there. Uh, it looks like Shivana really wants to find out or try to play some wards and be very aggressive. It looks like even uh, Mountain is coming here to help him. Good job para kay Emily Yooks sa paglagay ng wards doon at nalaman nila na may dalawang champion dito from the Flash Wolves ang nagbabakasakaling mahabol sila mga kaibigan. Two first two champion dito sa pagitan ng Red Buff. Lulu's trying to respond dito sa may bandang Red Buff mga kaibigan. At nagkakaroon ng abangan. What the team Manila Eagles might do dito sa laban nila ay they have to uh, secure yung kanilang mga lanes mga kaibigan. Nagbabalak na i-steal ang team ng Flash Wolves ang Red Buff nitong si uh, Kanut. Alright, so right now, they're just basically doing a, a, a dance around the red buff and it looks like uh, Warwick is trying to uh, trying to trap them into 
Napakaganda pag still coming from Mountain Man Kaibigan and Emily Kane at nangangani ano ba kanyang buhay dito Hinahabol ni Stake si Yux at si Emily Chong Wan Na team Manila Eagles Way 2 dito Napakaganda pag flash in sa sanyang Sonic Wave dito Kahit sa team ng Manila Eagles Chong is uh, trying to escape the, against these three champions Ng team ng uh, Flash Wolves And with that first blood para sa team ng Flash Wolf. That's right. So first blood goes to uh, Lee Sin, uh, which is your Flash Wolf Mountain. And right now, uh, Chok has gone back to the middle lane to, to start his uh, farming in the mid lane. And while the jungler of uh, of uh, your Flash Wolf mo looks like he's attempting to do another uh, buff steal in the blue buff yes, now. Yes, he's trying to shut down the team members of Manila Eagles. Ito, or the jungler of team Manila Eagles is si, uh, si Kanut, mga kaibigan. So what might happen dito sa laban na ito kapag nagpatuloy yung ganitong pag-shadow niya against sa kanyang kalain may hirapang makabawi ka agad itong si Kanut sa buong laban nito. Pero DJ na pinita mag-flash out mga kaibigan. At dahil doon, grabe ang ginagawang uh, aggressiveness ng team flash moves dito. At hirap na hirap ng team Manila Eagles na makapag-respond sa ganitong klase ng strategy na ginagawa nila. So ngayon, uh, Mountain Cat uh, got the second buff ng team Manila Eagles dito. At dahil doon, two buffs na nitong si Kanut ang nakuha sa kanya. So sa mga pagkakaroon ng ito, level 1 uh, pa rin siya. Hang, samantalang itong si Mountain ay mag-level 2 na against the team ng Manila Eagles. Yes, this is very bad for Nat right now because this will definitely put him very behind Lee Sin. Especially Lee Sin will now be able to go back to his own jungle to get his own buffs or even probably donate those buffs to either Lulu or Caitlyn uh, so that they can have an even stronger advantage in lane. Alright, so right now, basically, uh, Chalk is having a hard time defending his turn in the middle and, and it looks like uh, Lulu is trying to roam around the jungle and play some ward to find out where Nut is going right now. And I think that's a good performance coming to, from uh, Flash Wolves that they are doing here. Having Lulu as their champion, where not only can support a player, but also can give a very high potential damage to his fight. And with that, uh, he can... Uh, respond kaagad sa kanyang lane dito or sa kanyang jungle once na magkaroon ng kasalubungan sa pagitan dito ni Kanut at ni Mountain. Yes, and alright. So right now, this is actually a very strange strategy from Yo Flash Wolf. Very, being very aggressive. We have not seen this kind of action at such early in the game. First blood in the first uh, three minutes of the game and actually two buffs here. Uh, this is something I've yet to see actually in uh, the GPL at and actually, early in the game. Uh, Lee Sin got also yung kanyang mga buffs dito. So he is not wasting time sa pagbabalevel dito at pagkuha ng advantage sa kanyang kalaban since he also got his own buffs dito sa laban nila against the team ng Manila Eagles. So what I think sa laban, uh, sa laban na ito ay ang ginagawa ng team Flash Wolves ay talagang binabuff, binabuff nila ng sobra si Mountain para ma-secure yung mga lanes dito. Dahil alam mo, isa sa pinaka nakakatakot na role dito sa League of Legends ay yung jungle ng inyong kalaban. That's right. So right now, like I mentioned, not have to find a way. He has to put wards in his jungle to protect himself. And that's what he's doing so far. I began coming from Team Manila. He can still disengage ang team dito ng Flashwood. Alright, so right now again, there's a hook from Thresh right now on Severe. And not only that, exhausted mga kaibigan. Ito si Emily Hate. Emily Hate goes down at dalawang tiles dito. Two kill na ang team members ng Flash Wolves against the team ng Manila Eagles. Okay, so again, basically, they're just... Uh, that's another kill for Yo Flash who's giving them a gold lead of almost 1,000 due to the first blood and the second kill that they've achieved right now, including the buff steals that they've taken away from, not right now. Yes, at hirap na hirap ang team ng Manila Eagles early part of the game, mga kaibigan. Sa mga pagkakaroon ito, what the team Manila Eagles might do sa laman nila against the team ng uh, Flash Wolves ay kailangan nilang secure ng mabuti yung kanilang mga lanes. More words pa para sa kanila sa laban na ito. Okay, so again, like I said, I mentioned a while ago, I I said that uh, Warwick is actually a good uh, champion to use against Shivana since Shivana will definitely have a hard time uh, taking him down since uh, Warwick has a lot of sustained da sustain damage from his passive as well as from his, uh, his, his Q. Alam mo, isa pang maganda dito kay Lulu ay he can uh, also use his uh, skills very effectively against dito kay Ziggs kasi He has this, uh, uh, she has this polymorph skill kung saan kaya-kaya niyang disable yung kanyang kalaban dito at ma-silence pa. And at the same time, he can, uh, she can just give the book dito kay Ziggs sa main thing. And uh, yun ang tingin ko magiging pinaka-disadvantage talaga dito ni Chok against the book kay Refrain. Yeah, and actually, you just notice now, it looks very nice up top lane because they have, it's basically, Shivana's using a, a nice skin while Warwick is using a fire skin, so it's basically like fire and ice. Yes, so laban na dito ng... Uh, ng uh, yellow at top boy mga kaibigan sa mga pagkakataon ito we're seeing ngayon na nagbabalak dito sa bottom lane ang team ng uh, Flash Wolves against sa team ng Manila Eagles so ito ang maganda dito ha ah. once na ang kalaban mo Leona at ang gamit mong champion ay itong si uh, Tresh 
ang pinaka-effective way to gain an advantage against sa yung laming phase dito ay uh, yag early aggressiveness against sa yung opponent. So mga kaibigan, nagbabalak dito ang team ng Manila Eagles na bottom lane. Ito na, pinasok ng mga kaibigan itong si Ganut. Ang bottom lane mga kaibigan, I mean si Sword Art sa bottom lane yet uh, mukhang nag-disengage uh, ang team dito ng Flash Boots. Yes, it looks like it's, it's, kind, it's kind of surprising that this Flash is being very aggressive. Yes, Good job para team members ng Manila Eagles. It's a 2-1 uh, score na ang natin ngayon in favor of team ng Flash Wolves pa rin. And a good job from team Manila Eagles from uh, responding sa bottom lane sa mga pag-aarga ngayon. And uh, kitang-kita mo naman yung sinasabi kong uh, pag-play dito. Timing ng play kay Sword Art to uh, secure yung pag-hook kanina ni Leona. And with that, hindi na sana kailangan mag-teleport si Hooks. But uh, since nag-green siya at hindi tumama yung kanyang hook dito, he has to re uh, respond sa bottom lane. Yes, actually I was... I really like what uh, Emily did. They had very good communication. They timed it perfectly. They engaged the bottom lane. Uh, Emily Yooks teleported down to secure the kill, and because there was a one kill advance, uh, one they were able to kill, kill one champion in the bottom lane. They were able to take the dragon uncontested for the for the first dragon of the game. Yes, unfortunately, uh, team ng ti uh, ng Flash uh, dito got the chance to get the top tier, uh, first tier turret on top lane dito. And I think pinamaganda nagawin mo kapag naiwan kasalay mo. That's right. Good objective. And uh, just get the threats dito sa laban nila. And I think since uh, Manila Eagles got the dragon, they still has the advantage sa mga pangyayari kanina. But yeah. uh, since dragon is responding, unfortunately ngayon, mahihirapan natin ng Manila Eagles to defend yung top lane. And uh, dahil sa medyo nakukontrol na ni Shivan ang top lane dito, Warwick can, uh, can also uh, farm freely sa top lane dahil yung malawak na ang kanyang mapa dito. Pero mga kaibigan, Still na naman galing kay Mountain ang red buff dito ng Team Manila Eagles. Yes. Uh, that was a very good play from the MLE doing that uh, this, that first dragon and second spiel. Because uh, like you said, medyo na iiwan yung bottom lane kanina. And because of that, he was able to help the bottom lane match up and now probably even take an advantage over the bottom lane right now. Pero ngayon mga kaibigan, si S5 hirap na hirap si MLE na makasabag dito kay NL. Since gaya ng sinabi natin, Thresh is trying to... Uh, give a very hard pressure dito sa bottom lane since he can also poke yung kanyang kalaban dito mga kaibigan buwang ito na yung first buff ni Emily Canut mga kaibigan Emily Canut sa laban na ito napakagad na pagpasok mga kaibigan coming from mounting blue buff mga kaibigan hindi pa rin nakakuha Fiji nang hari mo kanyang buhay Fiji goes down at hinahabol ni mounting si Canut dito Emily Hate hinahabol ngayon ni mounting and I think he can burst ito si Emily Hate once na makapag inisit sa loob mga kaibigan second buff ng team Manila Higas yung mga kuna naman ng team Slash Wolf this is the second time that this happened in the game. It's basically a feat of the earth, the level one uh, engages that happened a while ago. I think Emily has to find some find some way to stop that from happening a third time. Because if they allow Yo Flash to continue doing this to them over and over, they will definitely not be able to catch up in terms of gold and also uh, map control as well. I think our uh, team ng uh, Yellow Flash, uh, Flash, I mean ng uh, Flash Wolves dito, they're trying to uh, get to secure yung lanes nila. I mean yung jungle ng uh, team ng Manila Eagles dito. Kung saan, alam din nila kasi na itong si Kanut ay merong advantage. I mean, meron siyang uh, potential when it comes to, uh, to farming and mag-secure ng mga objectives ng Team Manila Eagles dito. And since nasa shutdown nila itong si uh, Kanut, Manila Eagles don't, uh, can't respond very well sa mga ginagawa ng Team uh, Flash Wolves dito. Yes, so basically it looks like the strategy of Flash Wolves right now is just basically to shut down uh, not from getting stronger. Actually, he's already level 6 and his SS is up. It's probably time for him to make a play. So let's see what he's going to do in the next few minutes. Yes, so what he's going to do since he's level 6. And at the same time, sa mga pag ito, mukhang libre-libre ang team ng Flash Roofs dito na kunin ang kanilang mga buffs since Lee Sin is really dominating the jungle lane sa mga pag ito. Yes, that's right. So, like I mentioned, I think what Emily has to do is definitely start putting more wards. As you can see right now, they don't have enough wards to protect their jungle. They have a few wards in their jungle, but outside their jungle there's, and around along the river, there's none. So basically, Lee Sin is able to roam around freely and basically dominate the jungle continuously until now. And that is my team. I don't see Emily Hughes, but I don't see 
Flash will stink the Dolphin since the Dolphin stink. Uh, he's very dominant with his Dolphin. Ma, I do an aim and he can look at him on your body. Not bad at that sentence. Coming from Sword Art. Para masikir ang buwa dito. He can look. Yeah, so right now, uh, basically, they're going back to lane and again, Lee Shin is trying to make more plays for his team. He's right now actually one of the biggest playmakers of uh, Flash Wolves and making plays left and right all over the jungle of MLE. Sobrang pag-pressure ang ginagawa ng team Flash Wolves, Flash Wolves dito. And they're trying to get the first tier turrets ng team Manila Eagles. And as much as possible, they have to secure yung kanilang objectives dito sa laban na ito. Yet, uh, I think it is a good thing for the team Manila Eagles na nakakuha sila ng first dragon sa laban. Unfortunately, since they can't push any lane sa laban na ito, malaki yung nawawala sa kanilang god advantage sa laban. Yes. One more thing probably that Emily should do or can do probably is since they already know somewhat the strategy of uh, Yo Flash Wolves since they've already done uh, the blue steel and the red steel twice, they could probably set a trap for them. Expect that they have they should have the timers on those buffs because they were still yes. present during those fights. And if they can make a counter uh, a counter trap to uh, the, the, the invades of uh, Yo Flash Wolves, maybe they can turn this game around. Yes, you know, it's important to get out of the way that the Eagles are secure on the map of Tito. Since Alam Dina Manila, you are a school and a Hua, then the Flash Wolves are more buffs than the Manila Eagles. But since they have the uh, great difference in the Manila Lane, you can see that the Manila Eagles are the Manila Eagles. So far, ngayon, ang ating goal difference ay almost, uh, almost league, hindi po yung 5k na at sa mga pagkakaroon ito, inaabol ngayon na si Manila Eagles sa bottom lane napakagod na paranoia, galing kay Kanut mga kaibigan inaabol niya ngayon si Sword Art, exhausted si Kanut free it mga kaibigan, si Enel dito at kung ang magkakaroon sa nang chance to get an advantage against sa kanyang leaning phase dito mga kaibigan, listen, ginamit na kanyang Enel dito Kanut, ah Kanut, close down, Enel is going to take mga kaibigan ngunit hindi umabot para dito, kahit kay Mountain man lang sana, Emily Hayes Tinaman ng Sonic Wave galing kay Lissin, it was a very good job para dito sa team ng Flash Wolves. Yes, so right now, uh, Yo Flash Wolves has a six, 6 kills to 2 kills to MLE and basically has increased their goal to a 4k gold lead. Alright, so basically, that fight was actually very interesting. Yes. The th uh, team MLE tried to make plays. They missed their they they missed Leona's uh, solar flare, but they still went in with the paranoia of uh of Nocturne. But then Lee Sin was already nearby and was able to respond as quick as possible to continue to keep the pressure on Emily as they tried to, to disengage from that fight. And because of that, em uh Yo Flash was able to pick up more kills and counter that that hard engage by Emily right Once now. Once again, nagkaroon na naman ang chance ng team dito ng uh, Flash Wolves na punin ang red buff ng team uh, Esports Manila Eagles. So, at this point of time, 15 minute mark, medyo hirap na hirap na naman ang team ng Manila Eagles. Uh, sa mga pagkakataon ito, level 6 pa lang si Kanut. At ang kalaban niyang jungle ay level 8 na sa laban na ito. Alright, so right now, as we can see, the Yo Flash Wolves are attempting to do a, a Dragon Steal. This will be the second Dragon of the game. And we'll see what... I don't think this will be contested by MLE since they are actually kind of behind already in level and in items as well. Yes, at uh, second Dragon sa laban nito yung nakuha ng Team Flash Wolves. So 1-1 one -one na ang Dragon score natin in favor sa Team ng Flash Wolves since namin na lang objective ito na nakuha. At mga kaibigan, top lane... Uh, well, Warwick had the advantage pagdating sa kanyang CS dito. Since he, uh, uh, meron siyang lead na around 5 CS dito against the Ivana. But, uh, well... The response coming from team ng uh, Flash Wolves dito. The advantage is for the team ng uh, Flash Wolves. Yeah, so like I mentioned a while ago, looks like uh, your Flash Wolves plan of pushing hard on the for using Caitlyn is being very is very effective right now. As you can see, uh, another turn of Emily has gone down at the bottom lane, so this gives now uh, your Flash Wolves a three tower advantage, three to nothing tower advantage uh, for your Flash Wolves. Yes, para sa mga pagkakataong ito, Manila Eagles is trying to push the top lane since they know na ang uh, team members dito ng uh, uh, I mean, uh, Flash Wolves ay medyo kalat-kalat. So, Titi Sports Manila Eagles is trying to respond sa top lane, mga kaibigan. Mga kaibigan, dalawang champion dito ng team Manila Eagles ang nanganib ng mga kaibigan. At hinahabol ngayon ni Snake ang team members ng MNE dito. Napakagod na pag-travel from coming from Snake. At mga kaibigan, na fear itong si Mountain pero hindi pa rin sa pot. Magiging advantage sa kanyang kalaban. Good job para kay Emily Hughes para makuha at least ang buha dito ni Mountain. Pero refrain against kay Emily Chok. Grabe yung burst damage na ginagawa niya dito sa kanyang kalaban. And with that, it's a one for one exchange. At dahil doon mukhang nagkaroon ang chance ng team nila Eagles to uh, at least makabawi ng konti since they shut down itong si Mountain sa team fight ngayon. Pero mga kaibigan, naiwan si Enel sa bottom lane. Dahil doon nagkaroon ng chance ng team nila Eagles to gain 
Ang champ, uh, champion kill sa bottom lane. Good job sa team MLE na ginawa nila doon. Yes, that was a very good uh, response by the MLE knowing that almost all the champions of uh, uh, Yo Flash Hoops was in the top lane. And also, the reason why I think MLE got kind of caught up out there, they were really overextended. They were yes, not overstaying their welcome there. Galing kay Sword Art, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so right now, again, so basically, as you can see, Shivan is now helping the bottom lane since they, they don't want uh, Emily to continue to push down yes. that turret. So, we're going to be able to cancel the Nebel with the Sioux. Since we're going to be able to cancel the Nebel with the Sioux, we're going to be able to hook the TG Anina sa pagamit ng kanyang play dito. Very good playstyle coming from a uh, Sword art to cancel or pag napagal na pag timing coming from him to secure yung mga ganks or yung mga initiate na magagaling dito kay DJ. Yes, actually right now I think MLE should start grouping up together since they all have already the, their uh, level six uh, skills and they they're be basically they've lost all their outer turns or for, uh, first outer turns and because of that definitely they'll be more it will be more dangerous for them to go alone especially since the, all the champions of your flashers have very high mobility and yes. can easily go to certain areas or certain lanes to gank or isolate players that are, that, are, that are struggling by themselves. Unfortunately, sa mga pagkakataon ito, napakalaki ng gap itong si Caitlyn at si Severe. Sa mga pagkakataon ito, having the Infinity Edge, uh, samantala naman dito kay uh, MD8, having the Blood Burster sa kanyang uh, item dito, I think, kapag nagkaroon ng team fight sa pagkita ng team flash moves ng team Anila Eagles, malaki ang chance for the team flash moves maging an advantage. Pero, Depende sa kung paano i-kite ng team Manila Eagles dito ang performance, I mean, ang uh, laban nila lagi sa team ng Flash Wolves. Yeah, as you can see, Yux was trying to push the top lane and how fast Lee Sin responded to that. And because of that, uh, Warwick had to move back, Emily Yux had to move back to prevent any any type of danger to himself. Alright, so right now, as you can see, they're putting a lot of wards, uh, Yo Flash Wolves putting a lot of wards in the side of MLE's jungle. They want to con continue to dominate the jungle of MLE. So like I said, Emily has to respond to this. They cannot allow uh, Yo Flash Wolves to continuously put these wards in their in their jungle. They have to buy, either invest on more pink wards or buy more trinkets to uh, clear out those wards in their jungle. And they have to group together because they have a stronger team fight in SN as long as they can uh, isolate and trap down one champion, one support champion that will be protecting Kingpin or to take out Kingpin herself. I think Flash Wolves have to think away on how they can uh, shut down itong si uh, Yook sa top lane since Yook is trying to dominate yung kanyang lane sa top and then with that, I think once na magkaroon ng mga teamfights dito they can also be uh, they can also won the teamfight since Yook is trying to give the greatest advantage sa laban na ito Alright, so Kate can continue to push like I mentioned, she is a very strong tower pusher and because of her excellent range, which is very long She's able to easily kite the tower little by little until they can take it down, including Thresh, which also has a range book, a range ability, a range attack uh, skill. Yes, in a few seconds, mag uh, matatapos na yung cooldown nitong uh, teleport ni Yooks, and he can respond sa mga teamfight na mangyayari sa team ng Manila Eagles dito. So kapag na-execute ng maayos ng team Manila Eagles ng kanilang uh, skills dito, yung kanilang mga SS, they can gain advantage sa kanilang kalaban, knowing na itong si Kanut, na having no turn itong si Ziggs, uh, and itong si uh, Yook sa top lane na disable, the blind, the burst damage coming from Briggs it is a very uh, sobrang nakatakot na ganitong klase ng lineup na tiba Eagles kapag na-execute na ng maayos ng kanilang mga skills Alright, it looks like your Flash are now try trying to steal again the blue buff of MLE and there's two MLE members that might be trapped here Let's see what's gonna happen Alright, so so hard to come third are that engage MLE hate as well as not the friend is ready there and the rest of the party is coming to join in to take out the two members of MLE. Five champions and team dito ng Flash Wolves ang mag-respond mga kaibigan sa bottom lane. At nga nga yung boy ni Hate, napakagand ng pag-ignite kami sa team members ng Flash Wolves. Double kill para sa team Flash Wolves dito. At two champions ng team Manila Eagles sa bumagsak. At sa mga pagkakataong ito, team Manila Eagles is trying to defend the bottom lane. Pero dahil sa meron pang second kill nila, nagbita mag-initiate ang team members ng Flash Wolves dito. Napakagand ng pagsipa mga kaibigan galing kay Mountain. At inaabon nila ngayon si Emily Yuk, 4 champion na ng team Manila Eagles dito ang bumagsak At dalawang champion ng team Flash Wolves ang nangarib na mamatay dito Yet, very good job pa sa team ng Flash Wolves na makabawi at putik na nilang ma-ace ang team Manila Eagles dito Yes, like it, this is what I was saying, that Emily has to protect their jungle They cannot allow your Flash Wolves to dominate their jungle 
especially if they want to push. Every time they try to push, they tend to overextend. And because they're overextending, they keep getting get caught and get, get caught off guard. And because of that, they're giving away free kills to your flash pool without anything in return. Unfortunately, Caitlyn was very far off behind the Mabagat. I mean, he's si severe. I imagine that's a good ganina. Kung sa kung kaya tana karon ang chance itong team ng uh, flash wolves na idominate yung kanilang team fight na yon. Dahil nga medyo iwayo lang yung team ng Manila Eagles dito. And good job sa team ng flash wolves to get an advantage sa team fight na yon. Sa so, mga pagkakataon ito, mga kaibigan, third dragon sa laban na ito ay nakuha ng team ng flash wolves. So ang ating score sa dragon ay 2-1 na. 1 para sa team ng Manila Eagles at 2 sa team ng flash wolves. Alright, so not here at the bottom right now. He's uh, accompanied by two members of MLD and they're trying to finally take down the first turn of the game for themselves. Alright, so right now, looks like uh, most of the members of uh, uh, your flashes are, are uh, at, at their respective lanes. So basically, they, they give up this tower because they didn't want to risk losing any members for this turn. Take note, mga kaibigan, wala pang, uh, hindi pa ginagamit ni Yuk sa kanyang teleport kanina sa laban sa bottom lane. So he can, uh, he can still respond sa mga mangyayaring laban, di, laban dito, yung member magkaroon man. Mga kaibigan, one vs. one, how many members ng Manila Eagles dito? Uh, Emily vs. two champion ng uh, Flash Bulls, mga kaibigan, hinahabol pa rin. Napakagad ang sustain galing kay Yuk dito. Ngunit hindi sumusuko ang team ng Flash Bulls. And with that, they have to disengage against dito kay Emily Yuk. Yes. Like I mentioned a while ago, Yuke's pick a while ago was really good against Shivana. As you can see on a one-on-one -on -one basis, he can go head toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shivana. But with the assistance of uh, Lulu or, or from a frame, it, it, the, the, the fight turned around. And because of that, he had to disengage from that fight. I think he's a little bit of a fight against Yuke's in the upcoming Lulu that is fun. Again, he's coming from the team of Flash Bulls here. And with that, he's got an advantage. At buntik na nilang makuha ang buhay ni Yooks dito. Napilitan pag gumamit ng Flash, itong si Emily Yooks against that team fight. Yeah, right now your Flash Wolves is playing very smart. They're being patient. They're not trying to be too aggressive. They're just trying to push all the lanes, take up objectives one by one. I try to catch champions that are uh, without the team so that they can get three kills without anything, without taking and losing anything in return. So second, third, third, so top lane, nakuha na naman ng team Flash Wolves dito. At uh, sobrang kontrolado na ng team Flash Wolves ang buong mapa since lahat ng outer turrets ng team Manila Eagles ay nakuha na nila sa laban na ito. Okay, so again, basically, uh, your Flash Wolves are continuing to put a lot of wards around the MLE's jungle camps and still con con continue to control their jungle without MLE being unable to control their own boxes. They're basically stealing everything away from them. Please, Solar Fair, galing dito kay Leona, mga kaibigan. Napagad na pag-shoke, mga kaibigan, galing kay Snake. Tiji na nga naman buhay dito, napakaganda pag guys is coming dito kay Chok, 4 champion ng team uh, Flash Wolves na nakuha niya Kirings may assist take mga kaibigan Sinushoke niyang mabuti ang team members ng Manila Eagles dito Tinamaan ang 10 sentence po mga kaibigan Itong si, uh, si Hook sa mga pagkakataon ito Chok mga kaibigan ang untog ang kanyang pag Flash And with that, mukhang ease para sa team Manila Eagles dito Yes, recall mga kaibigan, napag-recall si Kanut Dito sa may bandang jungle buff nila Kung saan they gain an advantage sa laban na yun uh, I think Flash Wolves dominated that team fight kanina. Yeah, so Good job party to Shibane. Yeah, that was a 4-1 four, four exchange in favor of your Flash Wolves, which was very good. I think uh, Emily was a bit too aggressive back there. Yeah. They should have been a bit more patient, wait for your Flash Wolves to make a play, or try to find out, set up a trap, so that they can get a better advantage in the team fight. So I think, uh, isa pang naging mali dito ng team Manila Eagles, ay medyo, uh, they are very uncomfortable sa mga mangyayari. Hindi sila ready, hindi sila ganun ka prepared sa mga possible na mangyayari dito. Kung papansin mo kanina, Leona uses a talisman of ascension to initiate yung kanyang kalaban. Unfortunately, nakita natin na nag-diss yung kanyang solar flare dito at hindi tumama dito kay NL. NL got the advantage na magamit yung kanyang caliber net dito to secure yung kanyang buhay and to gain another uh, chance to kite yung kanyang kalaban dito. Right, so e naman yeah, so Emily not is right now trying to take his own blue buff for his team. And uh, your flash was thinking about trying to engage him, but they realized that a lot of they couldn't see a lot of members of MLE and decided not to continue this uh, blue steel. At this point of time, uh, MLE Kalut is uh, trying to uh, remove her from the mga pagshato na ginawa sa kanya ng team members dito ng flash rules. At kung mapansin mo, hindi siya ganun ka left behind sa item. Unfortunately, pag kukumpara mo siya sa item nitong si Lee Sin, Lee Sin uh, almost run to win to na. And uh, this is very unusual na makita mo ang leasing champion sa mating sa competitive scene na kukuha ng black lever kasi usually 
spirit of the elder lizard is enough as his damage item and he will get fo uh, he will focus next to his uh tanky items pero ngayon he also got his black lever to secure yung mga damage out of tiny ibigay sa kanya kalaban dito yeah so let's re recap the gold lead right now right now there's about a, a level k 11k gold lead for your flash pool which is very comfortable comfortable for them so right now they're just basically waiting for objectives to come out and they're gonna try to secure more dragons more buffs and pro possibly we're gonna see even a baron dance really soon so we want to mo uh, Jay, having the ten, uh, three almost three thousand difference pagdating sa gold ni si uh, si Lulu at si Six halos makabili ka na ng isang rabadon sa ganong pas ganong kalaking difference dito ng gold niyo kung saan kita kita natin sa napaka dominant si Lulu si Lulu pagdating sa midday yeah. Alright, so okay, sorry about that. There was a little technical difficulty, but we're back into the game. And uh, uh, right now, Yo Flash Wolves are continuing to try to make more picks for themselves. And yes, they've been ready for PG. Wow, grabbing pag damit ang is dito coming from Lulu. And with that, the security lang buhay dito. The Caitlyn. So, Team Manila Eagles can burst at least Caitlyn man lang sana. Sa laban na ito, since they have an AP Lulu plus a super support threat. Alright, so again, uh, basically they're, they've already taken down the first middle turn of uh, MLE. They've also taken down the first inhibitor of MLE as well. 16 in favor of Team Yes, she was able to prevent the Dragon Rage Cage of Lee Sin. If that if she wasn't if he was not able to prevent that uh, kick, most likely she would have been she would yes. have died because she would have been basically put right in the center of the team of uh, Yo Flash Wolves. Good job, dito kay Emily Hayes sa pagandang uh, pag-timing ng kanyang spell shield dito kung saan na-secure niya ang kanyang uh, buhay. Pero free dragon na naman sa team ng Flash Wolves dito pang haba na dragon si Laban at tatlong dragon para sa team ng Flash Wolves. Yes, and they continue to, con to build their gold lead and push it even further with that dragon. That free dragon they just took right now. Itakita mo naman doon, Jay. Kahit itong si Kanut ay nahihirapan sa damage output na binibigay ni Caitlyn. Three hits lamang, mga kaibigan. Sobrang sakit na ng pressure na binibigay niya dito. Having the last whisper, the Infinity Edge. And I think there's a high possibility na kukunin niya dito ay Blade of the Ruin King instead of getting the... I mean, kukunin niya dito ay Bloodthirster instead of getting the Blade of the Ruin King since... He can just kite yung kanyang kalaban dito at hindi siya nalalapitan ng kahit na sinong members ng Team Manila Eagles. So even si Warwick ay hindi makalapit sa kanya kapag nagkakaroon ng mga teamfight. Alright, so the words of Emily have actually just expired around the Baron Pit. So I think they need to uh, re-establish their warding again in their jungle including the Baron or else they may just lose, his, uh, their, lose their jungle camps including the Baron without any, con without any chance of contesting it at all. At this point of time, mga kaibigan, with the first inhibitor na nakuha ng Team Flash Wolves dito. Mga kaibigan, naiwan si Stake, ngunit tinaman ang death sentence. Itong si Emily Hughes, dahil napakagad na pag-solver, ngunit ayan na mga kaibigan, ginamit na ngayon ng S. Itong si Emily Hughes, sinabi niya ngayon si NL, ngunit napakagad na pag-kite, mga kaibigan, galing dito kay NL, ngunit shoutout siya ngayon ni Sevier. At dahil ito, ninahapon ni Stake, si TG, three champions ng Team Manila Eagles dito against kay Stake, double kill para kay Emily Hate, mga kaibigan, ngunit na iwan dito ang tatlong members ng Team Manila Eagles napakagad na pag burst damage coming from Refrain and he got a champion dito he killed M. Elihate yes so that was a 2 for 3 exchange I think Yo Flash Wolves would take that any day because once you're in the lead as long as it's an even trade you're still ahead of the game grabe na yung mga pangyayari ito against dito sa team ng Flash Wolves pero I think this is the time to push the team Flash Wolves here. The next spirit of the team Manila Eagles is going to be able to set this up with Kanut. And so much fun here, Kanut is not able to get the team Flash Wolves here. But he is able to get the team Flash Wolves here. And with that, one champion of Flash Wolves here. He is able to get the Yooks, my friends. He detected now Thresh. And because of this, it's a great time to turn coming from Team Flash Wolves. So, so much for the 27-27 na ang score natin in favor sa team ng Flash Wolves at tapala kaya ng gold difference difference sa laban nito almost 15k na. Yes, and until now, Yo Flash Wolves has complete control of all the jungle camps of MLE, and they're taking they just took the blue buff again for for themselves, and MLE still has need to put more wards again until now they're unable to actually even leave their base because of this.
Uh, it is a very good job para sa team dito ng uh, Manila Eagles kanina sa ginawa nilang performance sa bottom lane. Unfortunately, kahit nakakuha ng double kill itong si Hate, uh, mamahalata mo yung medyo layo-layo sila lahat eh. So very uh, effective talaga yung ginagawa nitong si uh, Steak na ginagawa niya pag-shove sa kalaban niya dito. Yung tatlong champion ang na-shove niya kaagad sa team members ng Manila Eagles. And uh, Manila Eagles, two champion na sa kanila ang kumuha ng apat na champion na team members ng flash moves dito. Yes, and and good still, mga kaibigan, galing kay Mountain sa pagkuha ng head buff na yun. Yes, so basically, Shivana is basically isolating the team of MLE very well. And because of yes. that, they're unable to perform properly the, the, their plan to initiate on the target they want to. Okay, it looks like uh, uh, both, both teams already established their wards around the Baron pit. Anytime now, I'm really expecting a, a Baron attempt by the Yofra crew. Let's see if MLE will be able to do a Baron steal or possibly even take it for themselves. So mga kaibigan, kita-kita naman natin ang effectiveness ni Lulu pagdating sa mid lane, uh, mid lane dito. At Emily Hughes, grabe ang dami siya binibigay ng team Yellow, uh, uh, I mean ang flash moves dito sa laban nila. Agay sa team ng Manila Eagles at uh, natitira dito, nag-respond na ang inhibitor ng team Manila Eagles dito. Ngunit eto na naman si Snake mga kaibigan with the buff coming from refrain. He can at least get that party sa kanyang kalaban. Napakagad na pagparanoya mga kaibigan, inahabol ni Kanon ang kanyang kalaban dito. Ngunit napakagad na pag-disengage from team. Now Manila Eagles dito, unfortunately, Mountain is trying to chase si Yux, mga kaibigan. Napakagal na pag-ace in the hole from NL dito. At uh, two champions na ng team Manila Eagles na bumagsak. And they're trying to chase pa rin, mga kaibigan, sa Mountain. And Mountain goes down 2 for one exchange in favor sa team ng Manila Eagles. Yes, that's right. And they were, uh, because of that, they were able to take down the inhibitor again of Emily, which leaves the middle lane of Emily exposed again to super minions again. Alright, so it looks like uh, uh, Yo Flash was a going to get, go ahead and clear again the camps of uh, MLE again as you can see they have a lot of wards here they have still great map control and then because of all the towers that are down already of MLE they are continuing to dominate the, uh, all, all the jungle camps of MLE uh, with that team fight Kanina I think Kanut is trying to uh, chase Sana I don't see Katyn unfortunately with uh, Katyn's uh, caliber net he can, uh, she can just stay away from sa kanya dito kay uh, Kanut and also NN is being uh, fully buffed by team Flash Rooms dito so hindi nila pinababayaan itong si Caitlyn and to secure yung kanyang buhay uh, they have to shut down itong si Kanut kapag pag-initiate siya sa loob ng team members dito ng uh, Flash Rooms Yeah, and because Nocturne built, built himself tanky which is also the right thing there's because of the team of uh, Yo Flash Rooms has a lot of UT they're able to protect Caitlyn very well and that because, and that because of that uh, Nocturne is unable to burst down Caitlyn at all not only that, meron pa rin, ah, meron din possible itong si Sword Art kung saan he can dispel any skill dito na pang disable kaya kay Katyn and plus his quick silver is a very interesting matchup mga kaibigan so far ngayon nasa taas dito ng Baron Pit itong si NL at kinukuha ngayon ng team members ng Flash Wolves ng Baron sa laban na ito SS galing dito kay Emily Chokul hindi pa rin sapat para magsil ang Baron kanina na nga rin ang buhay ni Emily Luke dito Five champion and team members of Flash Wolves are being chased by her. TJ goes down, Emily Hughes goes down. Three members of the team are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be he gained an advantage at our flash out siya ton and use his barrier mga kaibigan dito three champions of team Manila Eagles kakayanin yata ni kakayanin pa nilang i-defend ang nexus threat nila at ang nexus nila sa laban na ito yes as you can see yo flash is being very aggressive they're not allowing the MLE to get back to their to their uh, to their base to, to heal back their health the, right now destroying both nexus turns of the of MLE and it looks like this may be the game for them Alright. Ah, Recta, mga kaibigan, guy from Team Flash Moves dito. Good job for the Flash Moves. Congratulations, winning the game against the team ng Manila Eagles. Grabe yung pressure na binigay ng Team Flash Moves since early game pa lang hanggang sa mid-game at hanggang sa matapos yung laban na ito. They never let itong si Nocturne or si Kanot na magkaroon ng chance na kunin kahit isang buff lang niya kanina sa laban. And as you can see, sobrang na-shutdown siya having the 0-6 score dito. Also, siyempre, the rest of the team will rely sa kanilang jungle dito. And since he has the 0-6 score dito, and kung kapansin mo, Ziggs was also shut down as well sa mid lane. And Lulu dominated his lane very well. Sa top lane naman, Emily Hughes is trying to 
to give a pressure sana kay Shivana. Unfortunately, Shivana can at least uh, shove yung kanyang lane and then he can gank sa ibang lanes dito. Yes, alright. So, because of that, uh, because of, like I mentioned, uh, your flash move was able to effectively do use her strategy. Not only did they use Caitlyn to push towers consistently and very strongly, but they actually shut down the jungler of Emily with least a very aggressive uh, play style. So, in this game, who do you think would be, who would be your pick for MVP? For uh, MVP, I think, uh, from the team flash moves, I would give the credits to uh, Lee Sin. Since, uh, well, knowing Mountain, he is a very effective uh, jungle dito kung saan talagang they focus itong si Kanut na sa buong game. Uh, early pa lang, hindi siya dumedyo sa kanyang buff dito. Rumekta siya kagad dito kay... Uh, sa jungle, itong sa red buff, itong si Kanut to shut down him, at itunuloy-tuloy nila ito sinunod pa nila yung blue buff, and then the rest of his buff, sa kanya talaga na buff lahat, nabigay lahat ng buffs, and then yung gold advantage na kanya ibigay sa kanyang team, ay sobrang malaki compare dito sa team members ng Manila Eagles. Yes, actually, sayang talaga maganda sana yung comp ng Emily, pero yes. they were never able to get that ball rolling their plan was to basically dive into the target, they have Leona they have Tocturne, they have uh, Warwick, they can all basically pick one target, burst that champion down, and then proceed to the next target. But sadly, because of uh, the very aggressive jungle style of uh, Yo Flash Wolves, which we, they all had very great response, they all also have very high mobility, they were able to continually pressure the jungle of Emily Nut, and because of that, they were able to steal both red, both blue. Almost every single buff in that game was stolen by Yo Flash Wolves. There was only one time or two times, I think, that the Emily was able to take their own buffs. Other than that, every other single go golem buff was taken by the Yo Flash Wolf. And after the Yo Flash Wolf was able to take down all the uh, outer turns of Emily, they just continued to put wards left and right and did not allow Emily to get their own jungle camps. And because of that, Yo Flash, Wolf, Yo Flash Wolves was able to continuously uh, grow their gold, continuously all the way taking the dragon and all, the, all those jungle camps. And that basically put a peg to Emily's uh, strategy. Uh, I think also for the team of Manila Eagles dito, uh, against the team of Flash Wolves, it is much better to pick a different top laner sana uh, instead of Warwick since uh, actually first pick ang team Flash Wolves dito and uh, for the team na Manila Eagles they got the second pick and dalawang champion kagad ang pinik nila they have the Nocturne they have the they have kanina si uh, si Ziggs as their first two picks at para sa team ng uh, Flash Wolves they respond nakunin si uh, Lulu dito so with that it is also uh, it is already noticeable na ang pangontra nila dito kay Nocturne mm -hmm. ay si uh, Lulu. But they uh, they still pick uh, Warwick as their last pick dito sa team members sa Manila Eagles and unfortunately it wasn't that effective sa buong game. Yet, good job para kay Yux na sustain yung lane sa top lane. Mabapansin mo, hindi siya ganun na nalugi at na Actually, he was even ahead in, mm. in, uh, from early to mid game. He was able to go one and toe to toe with Shivana without any problem. Yes. It was only that the quick response from Lee Sin mm. or sometimes Lulu to basically corner him out, and Zig would also try to come out to help. But since it always becomes a two versus three because Nut is uh, way behind because of the early jungle pressure, yes. and he was trying to clear his own jungle, they were always, always able to take advantage of the, that pressure that the Yo Flash Wolf did. Basically, I think this would game would have been uh, a lot better. Uh, if MLE was a bit more responsive at the early game, they should have not allowed uh, Yo Flash Wolf to take that red buff. Mm -hmm. Because you could, they were thinking that maybe that they were just uh, trying to scare Emily off, but actually they were not. They were very aggressive. They really wanted to take that buff and that they were effectively able to do it. So very, uh, I think it's better also if the team of the Manila Eagles dito, yung kagaya na sinabi mo kanina, secure nila yung uh, timer ng kanila mga buffs dito. And once na uh, paparating na yung team ng Flash Rules to get the buff again, they will respond yung buong team nila. Or prepare help. a trap yes. basically. So once they come in, they can pick off somebody before they can respond backwards. Yes, good job again for the team ng Flash Rules for winning the game against Team Manila Eagles. And again, you're watching the Greener Premier League 2014 Spring Season. So bago ang lahat, uh, mayroon ka bang gustong sabihin since matatapos na ang ating Greener Premier League for tonight? Alright, I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow is the start of the PGS for the Philippines. And so if you have time tomorrow, please tune in again tomorrow and we will be commentating the two games tomorrow which will be around 5 p.m., right? Yes, uh, I think I, around 5 p.m. So hanggang sa darating 7 p.m. So two games per matches. Uh, oh, tama, per day, two games per day sa ating uh, PGS tomorrow night. That will be every Saturday, Sunday starting this weekend. 
So ayan mga kaibigan, bago na at gusto ko nang batiin ay lahat ng mga summoners natin ng Happy Valentine's Day. So, <laughs> uh, yung lahat ng mga may date dyan, sana okay lang kayo. So kami, ang kadate namin, yung mga monitor namin at yung aming computer. <laughs> And uh, again, thank you very much for watching the Green Premier League 2014 Spring Season. I am Gigi Sphere. And I'm Jay. Thank you very much for watching. Kita kayo tayo ulit bukas for the Pro Gaming Series. Same channel pa rin twitch.tv slash greenaphesports alright just one moment I just wanna make pahabol pala nagpapabati pala si uh, yes, si Gigi pala. Dave kay N and so also sa mga LPHM admins including his brother Adrian I also would like to greet my friends Potpot Ipe and Maki including my girlfriend and happy Valentine's to you my baby yan grabe iba talaga yung mga bigay ng mga Valentine's natin ngayon sa lahat ng mga pamati sa akin ng happy Valentine's Day happy Valentine's Day sa inyo sa aking nanay na mahal na mahal ko happy valentine sa iyo nanay mami and sana masaya ka dyan so bukas uh, sa darating na again tomorrow kita kayo tayo sa ating PGS uh, pro gaming series sa lahat ng mga may gustong malaman yung kanilang information about sa pro gaming series punta lang kayo sa uh, esports.garina.ph or esports.garina.ph slash PGS nandun lahat ang information so to, pumunta lang kayo dun to know more about the pro gaming series all right just one last thing also we'd like to thank the whole, uh, the whole garena staff including the, our live stream operation team yeah, and also uh, all, all the all you people who are watching tonight also uh, gusto ko lang din uh, magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga mga summoners natin na patuloy na sumusuporta uh, gusto ko rin mag-promote yung ating uh, challenger tournaments upcoming challenger tournaments meron tayo sa Iloilo meron tayo sa Davao sa Manila at sa Pangasinan sa Iloilo, we have the Decipher Cup, Season 10. We have uh, War Gods dito sa Moraita this coming Sunday, next week. Uh, also, sa Davao, we have the Siberia Gaming Hub. And sa Davao, we have Iloilo, we have Manila, and we have Pangasinan sa may Cyber 168 bagong opening sa darating na this, uh, February 28, uh, 23. 2014. And again, you are watching the Garena Premier League summer, uh, Spring Season 2014 live ngayon sa Garena Page Office. I am Gigi Sphere. And I am Jay. Thank you very much for watching. Kita tayo bukas. Alright, good night.